DTG 3675 Operation Instructions Let's get started with the different axes and degrees of the machine. One number of degree A and degree B is equal to one degree. One number of degree C is equal to two degrees. One number of spindle dial wheel rotation is equal to five degrees. To sharpen the carbide drill bit, we will use the 11 V9 diamond wheel. First of all, we will set the spindle in neutral position by softly pushing the spindle dial wheel forward and locking it with locking bolt. This will set the spindle completely neutral. We will unlock the B degree and set it to 90 degrees. To clamp the drill bit, we will unlock the C degree and lock it to vertical position to set the spindle dial wheel pin on number 9. We will lock the collet nut after aligning one of the two edges parallel to number 9. We will keep three easy steps in mind to sharpen the carbide drill bit. Step 1. Sharpening the back relief of the carbide drill bit. First of all, to generate the back relief, we will lock the C degree to number 1, which is equal to minus 2 degrees. We will unlock the B degree and lock it to 120 degrees. Move the spindle dial wheel pin from number 9 to number 4.5. Now, switch on the machine. Then, by moving the X axis and the Y axis, we will bring the drill bit closer to the diamond wheel. Now, after giving the depth of cut with Y axis, we will use the X axis to sharpen the back relief. Here, we will note the number on X axis which is 40 in the video. The process here on will involve the use of only x-axis whereas y-axis will stay as it is. Now, using the x-axis, we will move the drill bit away from the diamond wheel and set the spindle dial wheel pin number from number 4.5 to the opposite number 4.5. Move the x-axis towards the diamond wheel to the number noted before, which is 40 in the video and sharpen the second side of the back relief. Use the x-axis and y-axis to move the drill bit away from the diamond wheel. Step 2. Sharpening the cutting edge of the carbide drill bit. First of all, to generate the cutting edge, we will lock the C degree to number 1, which is equal to minus 2 degrees. We will unlock the B degree and lock it to 112 degrees. And move the spindle dial wheel pin from number 4.5 to number 1. Then, by moving the X axis and the Y axis, we will bring the drill bit closer to the diamond wheel. Now, after giving the depth of cut with Y axis, we will use the X axis to sharpen the cutting edge. Here, we will note the number on X axis, which is 40 in the video. Now, using the X axis, we will move the drill bit away from the diamond wheel and set the spindle dial wheel pin number from number 1 to the opposite number 1. 
Move the x-axis towards the diamond wheel to the number noted before, which is 40 in the video, and sharpen the second side of the cutting edge. Use the x-axis and y-axis to move the drill bit away from the diamond wheel. Step 3. Sharpening the web edge of the carbide drill bit. First of all, we will unlock the B degree and lock it to 175 degrees Now, we will unlock the C degree and set it to number 5, which is equal to plus 10 degrees. And move the spindle dial wheel pin from number 1 to number 4.5. Then, by moving the x-axis and the y-axis, we will bring the drill bit closer to the diamond wheel. Now, after giving the depth of cut with y-axis, we will use the x-axis to sharpen the web edge. We will note the number on x-axis, which is 40 in the video. And set the spindle dial wheel pin number from number 4.5 to the opposite number 4.5. Move the x-axis towards the diamond wheel to the number noted before, which is 40 in the video, and sharpen the second side of the web edge. Use the x-axis and y-axis to move the drill bit away from the diamond wheel. Unlock the C degree and lock it in a vertical position and switch off the machine. Your drill bit is ready to cut again as before by following three easy steps on this user-friendly machine.